Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cameron Logan here. Uh, today I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, overview of what I run for my MBX-8R Nitro buggy. So I'm going to start with, well, here's obviously my car. Um, but what I run for fuel, VP Racing 30% Nitro. Um, that's what was recommended to me. Uh, start box, Sure Start, Protex Sure Start box. Again, great box. Wheels are super soft though. That's the only issue with them. I'm already on my second wheel, and I think I just have a gallon through that tank, or through that engine, so yeah, it's uh, super soft, very easy to wear. Uh, glow driver, Mugen glow driver, it's got a little gauge on the top, it'll tell you if it's hot or not, basically if you need to charge it. Um, yeah, that's basically what I run. Uh, radio, Flysky Noble MB4, amazing radio, uh, I absolutely love it very you can set it up to how you like it which is super nice if you want to steer with your steer with your left hand you can um this is exact the exact real position that i like it's not perfectly straight but anyways it's got a little sunshade on there that uh buddy i raced with printed for me so that's my radio um now we'll get a quick quick look at the car here air filter you can see in the back there i've got the stock mugen um filter housing and cage and for filters i believe they're the protec filters that i run i can't exactly remember they're pre-oiled um and that's just a techno filter housing and stuff over there for when i had my hobeo um wing exact same wing as the e-buggy if you guys saw that so it's the ultimate racing wing obviously yellow if you're for some reason can't see that but very bright yellow um two holes drilled in it for tuning it's the exact same as my e-buggy just very base setup right now might show more later i'm not too sure uh feels good how it's set up right now and body lead finger lead finger racing i can't beretta maybe i can't exactly remember what the name of the body is but i believe it's the beretta painted by bodies by brandon if you watch the e-buggy e video that's the sticker i was talking about uh, beautiful paint job. I love this paint job a hell of a lot more than my e-buggy. It's just got a darker blue and it's just, I don't know, it just makes the yellow pop and it just looks, it looks sick. So, uh, wheel nuts, another exterior feature. They're just eBay special serrated closed uh, wheel nuts. I have a weird thing with like purple for some reason, like purple accents in my RC cars. So you kind of see it there and there's more underneath the hood. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the body off, give you guys a quick look under the hood. So, same thing with the e-buggy again, this dragon skin tape, just to save uh, from the body getting worn through. This stuff is amazing, and it'll save, save your body, it'll make it last a lot longer. And pretty well everything that I use here, you can get at MRG Racing. So I will make sure to put that in the description. So obviously, big thing, this is a nitro. So the first thing you want to look at would be, well, what what engine am I using? So this is a Flashpoint FPO2. It's .21 uh, OS-based race engine. It's very, I this is my first like actual like race nitro. But from what I've heard from all the like, more experienced boys is that this is like the best bang for your buck engine you can get which is why i have it and i've uh i've had great experience with it so far still learning how to tune them um but yeah it's ran well i haven't had any issues with it yet um yeah i've got the i believe it's gold i can't remember if it's a four or a three glow plug it's whatever comes stock in the motor but i changed it out for the gold plug uh pipe this is a hobeo pipe it's um it's the ofna it's actually an ofna pipe in fact if you guys know ofna hobeo i don't really want to explain it in this video but this is the my vs2 that i had um which is the car that i originally started racing eight scale nitro buggy with uh clutch bell stock megan one i can't remember the tooth count but Anyways, that's uh, besides the fact. Uh, shocks, I believe I'm running. Sorry about that, I had to click off there. But uh, shocks, I've got 
40 weight in the rear or in the front 45 weight in the rear uh i've got dubro nitro purple purple nitro fuel line i've got a few titanium screws in here from uh shoot what that what is that place called i can't remember anyways some purple titanium screws uh they're more or less just for looks but i don't know i like purple accents i might get a screw kit for it but we'll see also have titanium or uh, not titanium stainless screws in here as well again more so just for looks as well as so it doesn't rust because i have a moist basement which you can see uh that screw is rusting which sucks but it is what it is uh fuel tank stock fuel tank i didn't do the mod where you can get more capacity for it which is kind of frowned upon it's not illegal where i race i haven't heard anyone actually complain about it but i'm not doing that i'd rather keep this you know actual legal car um diffs front diff 7k middle diff 7k rear diff 5k we've got the protec 155 servo again phenomenal same steering servo i run in the uh e-buggy phenomenal steering servo absolutely love it servo horn it's the mugen servo horn Again, great horn, you can adjust it. Only thing is, is if this comes loose, this whole thing can shift. And if you lose this little insert, then the servo horn's garbage. Because you need that insert for this to actually function. So, kind of one downside to it, but it is what it is. You got an Eco Pro. I, I think it's an Eco Pro. I don't even remember. No, well, it's all. I'm pretty sure it's an Eco Pro WP1209. I think that's what that says. So, that's what I've got for my throttle and brake servo. It's just a cheapy, um, which yes, I know I shouldn't have that for my throttle servo. I'm actually going to get one of these Protex in here shortly, but I've spent enough money on toy cars recently, so I'm just going to kind of hold off on that for a bit. Uh, what else is there to mention? Battery. Uh, I run this, so I'm not really showing you guys. This Protec 2300 milliamp hour uh, receiver pack works great, fits in there. It's a little, a little tight, but she does fit, does work well. Uh, MRT transponder, I've got that mounted up back here. Nice yellow antenna tube to match my beautiful yellow paint job. Um, what else? I don't think there's much else here to, to mention. I guess I've got tires. I run sweep tires on here. Again, MRG Racing, that's main tire that he sells and i've quite liked my sweeps that i've had tread pattern and compound so that's what i have been running i do have some pro lines tires as well in the end they're all tires like they all do the same thing it's just tread pattern and compounds so um yeah i don't think there's really anything else to go over with this guy but hopefully i'll get you guys some uh footage of this guy racing at some point shortly got a couple new things to help me film so should should get some video for you guys at the track but yeah anyways guys uh thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one